Hello everyone, um, this is Leah of the future and I decided to record a little bit before um, my clips of the last several days of Vlogmas. Um, things were just really chaotic and like when I say like Steve and I were sick over those previous days or whatever I mean like really sick like I'm pretty sure we had norovirus like not just like oh I'm feeling under the weather as you can probably tell I'm not sounding great right now um I just I woke up last night with such a sore throat like eight out of ten and it's still really sore so I have an appointment to get a strep test later today um <clears throat> and today is what the 20 8th so it's it's past vlogmas now but i wanted to get the rest of the clips up but i think that they're mostly just random little clips here or there and i wanted to sort of catch everybody up on like what actually was going on so um we we had quinn home friday Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, which also contributed to a lack of content because it was just having Quinn around. Um, and then uh, we went to my mom's house for Christmas Eve. Uh, we do that every year. That's been like our thing forever. So like when I was growing up, it was like mom's house for Christmas Eve, dad's house for Christmas Day. And then um, when Steve and I started dating, then it mostly became like, mom's house for Christmas Eve, Steve's drive way up north to Steve's parents for Christmas Day, and then um, see my dad some other time. And then my stepmom also sometimes does things around Christmas Day, sometimes does things like a week or two after, or sometimes a little bit earlier. She just sort of plays, plays it by ear. And so this year we knew we weren't going up north because Quinn, I feel like, is too young for a four to five hour drive um, in the car at late at night and then, you know, back basically the next day. So um, we just stayed down here and my stepmom had um, an event or like just a low key gathering on um, Christmas day. It actually was just, it was just, it was like open house style. So like um, my older brother and his family had come a little earlier and we had to come, we came after Quinn's last nap. And so it was like just us, my stepmom and then um, my brother Jack and his partner. And, um, and that, that was chill. But anyway, um, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day were great. Um, just hanging with family, got to open presents. Um, and then Steve and I opened our own presents, uh, after Quinn went to bed on Christmas Eve. And that was really nice. And then Christmas Day, we just hung out, was chill and then went to my um, stepmom's in the evening. And that was like basically it for, for actual Vlogmas. Um, I know I explain at some point in some of my clips, but just like a general summary, like basically they, Grim has cancer on his right kidney, possibly his left kidney, but his right kidney has like a huge tumor on it. Um, we're giving him prednisone as chemotherapy as well as like an appetite increaser hopefully um he has started eating a little bit sometimes and then we're giving him fluids we're like supplementing fluids just to make sure that he is flushing out his kidneys instead of leaving it up to him and i feel like probably most people would not either want to or be able to do that because it is like a pretty big needle it's like 18 gauge i think um and you know you have to your cat has to be cooperative too he's not like the most cooperative but i i don't know we just have a relationship so i don't know i'm able to i'm able to do it um honestly he fights the pill more but um we're gonna keep doing that as long as we can um hopefully the chemo works a little bit to give him just a little bit more time um it's basically weeks or months at this point so we're doing whatever we can and on top of that, in sad news, um, we used to have a third cat named Trinity. She actually was um, 
brought home by Steve's sister. So, like, this was a long time ago um, when Steve was, like, a young teenager. And Trin uh, Steve's sister used to be a vet tech and would bring home animals sometimes. And they brought Trini home uh, after she she had had um, surgery to remove a leg um, after an inf she was brought to the like just like surrendered or brought to the vet um, by like a citizen like I think she was run over and just sort of just left on the street something like that and and then there was an infection in her arm and so they needed to amputate and then so she's had three legs had three legs forever and they brought her home to heal because at the time there was like not a good recovery or whatever area for for someone of that like caliber and then she just ended up staying so steve's mom retired first from her like main job and then moved up north back to her hometown in the iron range and steve's dad stayed down here to finish out whatever 40 years or whatever it was of um his job that he was working and during that time we bought the house and um, Steve's dad lived with us while he finished out um, the last couple years of his um, career. At, and Trini lived with him mostly in, um, like in his room. That's like where he kept her because my cats, although they are brothers and they don't have an issue with each other, they are bullies to every other animal that they have ever come into contact with. So it was not safe or optimal for Trini to be um, out like in the main area um sorry narrow <laughs> um and, and which is fine because steve's dad loved trini so much um so he moved up north i want to say in 2014 or early 2015 and he had tried bringing trini up there but it just didn't work um like she was there for a brief period of time but it just didn't work out like in their lifestyle so they brought her back down and she lived with us for a couple years and it sucked to have to separate her from the rest of the from the other two cats because then basically she was isolated and so we had her for like a year and a half or two years or something like that um and then we realized she could live with my grandma my grandma had a dog, but she was a very small dog that loved cats. A um, very chill, very calm, very gentle dog. Um, and um, we we brought her, we, we, we introduced them, and it was so cute because Trini was like, what the hell is this to the, about the other dog? Um, and... Uh, her name was Sadie and Sadie was so patient with Trini just like really wanting to be friends with her but I, but really respecting her when Trini was like you know growling or hissing or like absolutely not do not come in my space and then eventually they became really good friends and like it was great and my she and my grandma were just meant to be like meant to be and they were just two little old ladies like Trini suddenly became a lap cat yeah they were just two old ladies meant for each other it was three old ladies meant for each other um, and unfortunately, Sadie passed away earlier this year, and then on Tuesday, the, um, <clears throat> the Boxing Day 26th, um, my grandma called me and was like, you know, something's not, something's wrong with Trini, I don't know what to do. And so I, you know, dropped everything and, um, was able to get us into our vet and we brought Trini and it was very clear there was something wrong with her, that she was not doing well. And they did like a quality of life assessment and you know grandma my grandma had been in and out of the hospital over the last couple of months for various things like pneumonia and um influenza a and a few other things so she's not doing well either right now like she's just just down like you know sick the vet said like with cats especially dogs to some extent but cats even more so they just they tend to go downhill really fast because they hide their pain for so long um so yeah my grandma said like it just seemed to happen over like a week and a half and you know the vet basically said that she didn't really have any muscle mass that she probably had cancer and was probably dying so we just decided to put her down and it was really nice because you know, my grandma got to hold her and we were just in like an exam room so it wasn't like the super awful like sterile 
room, you know, or whatever in the back. Um, and, you know, it was gentle and painless and whatever, but still, you know, really sad. And so it's like sad that we have to put down one cat and we'll probably be putting down another cat in the nearest future. But um, I am spending every spare moment I can with Grimm. Um, you can see from some of the clips, like Grimm is very much like a mama's boy. Like he is very much my cat and he loves to snuggle under the blankets with me. He loves to curl up on my pillow. He likes to sit on my lap. He likes to sit on my chest. He likes to rest his face on my face. Like he, he's really my cat. Um, he has seemed a little bit better over the last couple days. Um, a little bit more energetic, a little bit quicker moving, a little bit less ginger. So I'm hoping the prednisone helps improve his quality of life for at least the next couple months. And we're just going to keep an eye on him and make the same decision that we had to make for Trini sometime soon. So it is so sad. Um, and we're also frankly surprised that he, that Nero is outliving him because Nero's had diabetes for like six years. Otherwise, um, I just wanted to catch you up on the last uh, bit of advent, advent calendar stuff. Um, so for tea, we have a detox energy. It's a Brazilian detox. We have something called Big Ben, which is an English blend of Assam and Yunnan teas, invigorating typical English breakfast tea. And interestingly, this says 25. This is 25, but there are only 24 days. And it says 24 days on there. But anyway, it says 25. Um, South Africa rooibos with notes of citrus, rose, almond, and spices warm up your Christmas with these wintry flavors. <clears throat> and then for the um, stitch markers, we have a magic wand for day 22. Yeah, and there are 25 days in the stitch marker calendar. A little dragonfly. I don't think that unblurred, but whatever. A cute little cupcake. A little fairy cake, is what it says. And a little fairy. So that was fun. Thank you so much for coming along this vlogmas journey. Um, I know it's a little unusual. It's my first year trying it while having a baby. Um, I hope to see you again next year. Thank you so much for those of you who are new and for checking me out and wanting to uh, see what I come up with next. And to those of you who are returning and my friends and family, thank you so much for watching. Happy to see you and um, I will see you in my next podcast. Bye. All right, I'm charging my phone um, before I go pick up Quinn. So one, I straightened my hair. <laughs> I got tired of it. Um, so we got Grimm's results back. I, it is the second worst outcome. Steve and I are just working on acknowledging, accepting, understanding. I mean, in 2011, when we were very poor, just out of college students, living in a really shitty apartment on uh, the east side of St. Paul, you know, he had so many issues and with a blocked bladder. And um, I remember I'll never forget the emergency vet person there telling, encouraging me to just put him down. He was only four years old at the time. And I was like, why would I put an otherwise healthy cat down? Because it's expensive. Like, I'm going to figure out how to deal with this. Um, right, Grimmy. And look at that. We've had so many, 12 more years with this boy. I love him. He's my cat. Like, Nero's like more Steve's cat and Grimm's my cat. They're brothers. Um, 
And I've had these uh, two since they were six weeks old. Haven't I, Grimmy? Come here. He's just standing there looking at me. Um, so yeah, that's a bummer. But I'm glad that we have some answers and a plan and that hopefully he'll feel better soon for however long we have left with him. Um, in other news, I'm going to go pick up Quinn in a little bit here, and then I'm going to take him to the mall. Steve has his Game of the Year stream tonight, so he streams on Twitch once a week, and this is his, um, uh, episode, or day at the end of the year where he goes through all the games that he has played that came out in 2023 that's very important he doesn't ever count games that don't come out that year even if he played them that year um and uh he's going to do a stream on that and those always end up being really um long and nice and fun and everybody gets to talk and give their opinions and you know tell him when he's making a dumb decision or like whether they support or like making guesses of what they think his game of the year will be and he just he likes to figure that out in real time um so that'll be fun well, i believe that you can look love you i can tell so um at like the I think the beginning of Vlogmas or something, or yeah, the very beginning of Vlogmas, I did a bunch of, um, like I moved a bunch of things around in the kitchen and whatnot, and I, um, have an engagement ring, and I take it off every time I shower, but otherwise I don't take it off, and, um, I was talking to Steve, and I took off the ring and I always put the ring on you know like those things you can pull up in a sink I went to put it on there and it like wasn't fitting and I was like absolutely like trying to put it on I was like why the hell is it not fitting and then I look at it and it is freaking destroyed like I don't even know what is going on here one of the diamonds fell out there's a so there's a bunch of diamonds here here uh, on either side and then around the base and um it was not a super cheap ring or anything like that and but i must have when i was moving some of the furniture like i must have like pressed on okay must have pressed on it too hard and bent it and i i had no idea like from whenever i started doing it so i was really sad um we reached out to the um the company and they basically said that it would be cheaper to just get the stones removed from this ring and then put in a different ring and that they recommended we go to like a regular any jeweler and not their store are they based in sweden uh i think so yeah, yeah so you know like far away um but yeah this is a, a lab created alexandrite so it, it looks different in different lights i love it i love and i love the purple i'll get a better shot of it not in my front facing but in the meantime, I want something to wear, so I ordered on Black Friday some cheap, um, like cheaper, this is a topaz, and then a band. So, m m much cheaper than this one. Um, but this one is rose gold, so it's also weird seeing like yellow gold, but <sighs> that's the thing that happened. I just didn't talk about it all Flockmas because I wanted... <laughs> First of all, we wanted answers to see if we could, like, get the ring fixed or whatever, but then, because I was waiting for the replacement ones to come in to compare them just so you could see the difference. Um, yeah, that's, that's sad. I don't, I only have had it for, like, a year and a few months. Um, I am not good at keeping things nice, no matter how much I try. 
I am going to go pick up Quinn right now-ish. And then we're gonna have a day together. But yeah, straight, straight in my hair, look at that. I can, I can, my hair can still straighten sometimes. I need to dye it though, very soon. Yeah, if you think that this is my natural hair color, it is not. It, my natural hair color is like a dirty blonde. Good morning. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 
myself but also I just spent the morning with my fam I got up with Quinn at 6 30 and um, and I forgot my tripod sorry <laughs> um, and hung out with him and then he was just being so cute this morning hopefully uh, you get some clips of that and then um, I napped for a couple hours while Quinn napped. And Quinn napped for two hours and had to be woken up, which is a far cry from his 11 minute naps at daycare. Um, but I napped while he napped and snuggled with Graham. Um, and now I went to the yarn store cause I'm looking to knit myself a shawl for my wedding. Um, but I did not find any yarns that I that felt like the right yarn. And it's like, you want it to be the right yarn. Good afternoon. It is the 23rd. I am hanging out with Quinn.
in his room. And uh, we're waiting for our friends to come over. Steve has the day off. I had the day off yesterday and I hung out with our friends who were visiting. And then um, we all went to the mall together. That was fun. And then um, it's been me with Quinn this, this uh, today. He just woke up from a nap a little while ago and we've just been hanging out playing. Um, but my friends are bringing Indian food. I'm so excited. And we're gonna hang out until Quinn's short afternoon nap. He slept again. Yesterday he slept two hours and had to be woken up. And then today he slept two hours and had to be woken up. He's really sleeping a lot um, for his naps. And, um, but his afternoon nap is always like a half an hour or so. So we're gonna do that. And then probably go back to the mall again and have everybody go to the mall. Um, I did end up finding yarn from Wonderland Yarns that I'm going to use for my wedding shawl and it's going to be perfect. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait till it gets here. Can't wait to start. I've never done a beaded shawl before. That'll be exciting. A nice lace beaded shawl. Um, but otherwise it's been, it's chill. Um, I know tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We're gonna be going to my mom's after Quinn's first nap um, to hang out all day. So that'll be really fun. Um, <laughs> Quinn's working on a lot of skills right now. He's really like, he wants to pull himself to stand. He wants to crawl. He wants to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so um, apologies if it's mostly clips, just, you know, taking care of a baby. And that's most of my day. Got good news, you can bring all the Legos into you now. Are you stuck? <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I figured you'd want that. You can have it. Good morning. Um, today is Christmas Eve. I'm wrapping presents for family as me and as Secret Santa. Um, yesterday, as always, it got busy. So I feel like I didn't record nearly as much as I should have. Um, but today's the last day, huh? Basically, right? Isn't today supposed to be the last day? Um, we... So I had Quinn yesterday, and then my our friends from um, Madison came over and hung out um, with me and Quinn, and um, w we did a walk with Quinn, and he was falling asleep on the walk, which was, he's so funny. Um, like, I feel like that hasn't happened in so long. And then um, I just, I let him, I was naughty, I let him nap on me, which we don't usually do, but I wanted to make sure that we could actually get out and have him, him having napped and then get out in a reasonable time. Yeah, we went to the mall and that was really fun. Quinn did a ton, he was like really like into, he wanted to look at stuff and, and like was very wiggly, like wanted to, wanted to be a part of it all. Um, and it, honestly, for it being the day before Christmas Eve was not as busy as I would have thought. Like, I would have thought it would be busier. I hate when they don't cooperate and they just curl up in, like, an annoying bundle instead of, like, a cute, cute little curly. Um, so today... We're gonna go to my mom's and um, do Christmas there. So I'll, I'll get some, I'll try to get some footage there. It's gonna be probably pretty busy. There's lots of kids, not lots, but enough. Steve has Quinn out. They just want to go get coffee before Caribou closes. Um, and then he'll put Quinn down for a nap and then I'll go down for a nap and then we'll get up and go. So it'll be a, it'll be a good day. 
Um, I'm excited to bring Quinn to a family gathering. Like, I feel like he's at a really good age not right now. Like, he's starting to be more fun and less... Like, he's still very fussy, but around, like, other people, he's not as much. And he's, you know, starting to try to move, and he's very into other kids. And um, also, it's just more... He, he wants stimulation, so it's more stimulation, you know? Um... It's fun to do gifts. So yeah, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. And Vlogmas, hey, even though Vlogmas isn't like, wasn't as uh, like on, on point as it has been in other years, I feel like I did pretty good for, uh, for like being a friggin' parent. This is cute. Um, it's a, it's it's all it's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. Oh. <sighs> but I hope you've had fun coming along my days with me. Um, I hope that it's been enjoyable and just fun to, you know, get a slice of into someone else's life and that uh, next year will be even more fun and exciting. Um, and I appreciate you hanging out with me.